Vogue launched their summer patterns, and we're going to be taking a look at them. Not only are we going to be looking at them, we're going to be ranking these. They're going to be tier ranked using uh, this method. And I mean, we're going in for A is for amazing, gotta have it. This is a unique look, wonderful. B is for boring, meh. I mean, it's good. I could use it. It might be a good wardrobe staple, you know, wardrobe builder type of pattern. That's what the Bs are. C is for cancel at checkout. And those are the patterns that you just kind of toss into your basket. But then when you get to check out, you're like, eh, actually, I don't need this. And you start removing them, right? That's cancel at checkout. D is for disaster zone. And E, well, E is extremely ugly. Now, all of these ratings are my personal opinion. And of course, you might have your own opinion. And if it's different, definitely let me know down in the comments. And for those of you who think that I'm just being mean and I'm a horrible person for rating these patterns, I'll see you in the comments as well, just like the last two videos. So with all of that being said, let's head on over to the website. Okay, so first up we have Vogue 2040, which is another DVF re-release. Look, I understand. We've been given wrap dresses before, right? I mean, we've seen this, but it's a DVF, you all. And I know that I'm fangirling a little bit here, but we all know I'm going to give this one an A for amazing. <laughs> um, I even like the way that wrap falls in the front. This is the longer view. Look at her posing. Get it, girl. And I like that they're featuring it on different size models. Look how beautiful this dress fits her. I, to me, it's an absolute winner. This does not have a collar. It comes with the sleeve option. Well, the short sleeve option. Of course, you can always lengthen that. But yeah, I think this is an A for amazing. All right, next up we have Vogue 2036. And this is a vest and pant pattern. And wow, this seems like it's really on trend for summer. Um, I love this vest. It's got that little belt that helps you close it. A notched collar. It's sleeveless. Look at that pocket in the front, the welt pocket. And then it looks like it also has two welt pockets. It's a little lower down with some... I'm going to call those fisheye darts, although I don't think that's really what they are. The pants even look nice, and they're that capri length, which is really on trend right now, you all. This is a great fit. Look at the way it fits on the shoulders there. Yeah, I'm really loving this. The pants have a welt pocket. It looks like a maybe even a curved waistband. I'm not sure about that one, but I do think that they fit this model beautifully. And taking a look at the line drawings, I mean, it's exactly what you would think it should be. I I really like this one. I'm giving this one an A for amazing. Next up is Vogue 2024. This is a Rachel Comey look. And you know what I have to say that she gives us some patterns that are based off of her collections, which is kind of cool. Um, and I'm going to try not to judge this one on the giddy up and go horse fabric. It's going to be hard, though. All right, let's take a look at this. Okay, so again, we have a notched collar. It looks like it has some really big floppy sleeves that are on the short side. Um, yeah. I'm not hating them. I think they're pretty cool. It looks like this has one really huge lapel that crosses over the front. And yeah, and it looks like it buttons maybe. It ties in the back. Look, there's a lot of pleats in the back. Yeah, this dress has some nice volume. A back yoke. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. Let's take a look at the line drawings. So down here. Okay, yeah, so you can really see that really big lapel and how it kind of flops over. 
It has some interesting draping, but to me, I mean, my eye doesn't know where to look. You've got three buttons on that skirt to, you know, help it not expose you. You've got that bell tie that gets attached into that center front at the, I'm going to call that a princess seam. I mean, it's definitely not boring. I wouldn't say cancel at checkout. I'm going to put this in the disaster zone. D for disaster zone. Vogue 2025 is up next. Okay, they're giving us a little pop of skin right under the breast there. I, you know, and I think it's really kind of cute. I like the sleeveless one in particular. The ruching at the bust line um, that's actually made by the straps that go around your neck. I like how wide those straps are. And I do like the placement of these pockets. It looks like they're a little more forward. Well, on this version, it looks like it is. And um, yeah, I think this is really adorable. I could see a lot of people wearing this. There's that tie in the back. Here's the sleeve view. I'm, I'm not too fond of these sleeves, but they're okay. Okay, let's see if we can take a look at the line drawings. And it's exactly what you would think. Princess seams. I'm gonna give this one an A for amazing. I love it. Not the sleeved one though, but the sleeveless one, absolutely. Vogue 2034. This is a pair of pants and shorts. Whoo! Y'all, y'all see what I'm seeing? I mean, holy arts and crafts. These buttons, why? What possessed them to do that? Did they just like look for the cheapest buttons they can possibly find and put them on there? This is so tacky. I really do think that the detail of this like buttoned on portion is kind of interesting and cool, but I would definitely get rid of those two middle buttons right there. Yeah, them things are a disaster. I think the white versions here in the boucle is a little, it's a little nicer. I'd still get rid of those two middle buttons. Maybe even just tack them down with some thread. I love that fringed hem right there. Oh, that's a really nice little detail. Yeah, I'm liking the pants version. Okay, look, honestly, if it didn't have those two middle buttons, I wouldn't hate on it so much. Just don't use like super cheap buttons. Hang on, what's going on with that back? We've got to get back in there cuz. Why are these back pockets so tiny? I mean, it looks like a kind of a welt pocket, but they define the pocket with that stitching. I, I am not a fan of it here. The white version, I mean, it all kinds of blends in, right? And so I don't mind them at all here. And I think that the fit of these pants is beautiful. And I love that really wide waistband. Oh, that wide leg. I, I think you would have to be careful with your fabrics here. Overall, I think it's not boring. Okay. I'm going to forgive their ugly button choice on the blue shorts there, and I'm going to give this an A for amazing. I kind of feel like I need a new category, something that's like T for thought-provoking. All right, let's look at Vogue 2026. Now, is this a... I mean, I know that they're calling it a dress, but this looks like a pajama to me. I... I like it as a pajama. I don't like it as a going out dress. Okay, so the shorter version here, lots of gathers. Uh-huh, you've got that yoke at the top. They attach some trim to it around the yoke to define it. I hate how they did it with this black here and like this watermelon looking fabric. It just makes me hungry. Like, give me a watermelon for bedtime? I don't know, man. I mean, it... 
I don't like it. I'm 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 not gonna lie to you all. I I mean I I would wear this to bed. I think it makes a cool looking pajama kind of. I don't even think there's pockets. I don't know. Let's look at the line drawings. Okay, there's pockets. You all, I'm sorry. E, extremely ugly. Seriously, man, they can miss me with these. Daytime. Going out in public pajamas. No, thank you. Vogue 2030. Let's see what this one has going on. Okay, it's a Marcy Tilton. You all know she gives us a real interesting garment every now and then. Okay, so we've got some pockets into that seam line. A whole lot of buttons here, but at least they use nicer buttons, right? Am I right? Okay, and then look, they, she's popping her collar. I don't know if this pop, I don't know if this popped collar can go down. I'm kind of liking it though. Um, I wish, okay, here's a more drapey fabric. I think I'm liking this one. I think like a linen, I don't know. This is kind of a cool look, right? I mean, I like the sleeveless look better than the sleeved, but don't hate it. Let's look at the line drawings. We need to get a closer look. Okay, so looking at this, I think that the detail on those sleeves is actually kind of cute. Um, do I need this in my wardrobe? No, I mean, is it like, could I use a tunic? I don't know. Um, if I saw someone wearing this, I think they'd be cool. I'm going to give this one a cancel at checkout. It's definitely something I would throw in my cart. But then I just leave it there. I, mean, I don't really want that. Vogue 2037. Oh, man. Okay, so where to begin? They're giving us a whole set here, and I'm going to be honest. I don't understand it. Okay, so we've got a long sleeve shirt for summer. Okay, some places are a little on the cool side. I do think the hem is nice. It kind of, like, continues. Oh, come on. That hem does round off at the bottom there it's an interesting detail this though i just don't get like are, are we going to prom again like <sighs> i did prom over 20 years ago i'm not trying to wear this again princess seams are okay i think this is a nice top for the young the youngins the girlies but i don't see them wearing the rest of this look I am confused. Wait, come on. I'm not, I don't see no 18 year olds wearing these pants. That long shirt. The pants are, they're, they do fit nice though. They're nice pants. But we've seen pants like that, right? Oh, look at the back of this top though. Hang on, let's see if we can get a better look at this bottom. It's a nice like kind of tail, isn't it? Okay, I see your straight thread, Vogue. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh, but I do, I do like these sleeves. I like the volume in the sleeves. This fabric's interesting. It looks like a 3D fabric. This fabric is not interesting. It has a zipper in the back, an exposed zipper. Okay, the shirt, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I stand by this shirt being interesting. But seriously, who's their customer here? Who is it? This is a disaster zone, you all. D for a disaster zone. Okay, we've got another Rachel Comey look. Let's see if she can redeem herself. This is Vogue 2035. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got a fitted top with a zipper down the middle. And this is a jumpsuit. This is connected. I like the thicker straps here, and actually I like the juxtapositioning here of the kind of more f like elevated, close-fitting top. Oh yeah, with all of that beautiful top stitching with the kind of more casual, this almost has like a cargo feel type of pant. 
You know, this reminds me of like a Princess Jasmine look almost. I, I like it. It has that little tie around the waist, pockets. It's got nice volume in the pants. Could you imagine this in jeans? Look at the big old pockets in the back. They've got that button. You all, this in denim would be amazing. Even if you did it in different color denims. Oh, I love it. I think this fit is so nice. Yes. No, oh, man, these line drawings are something, huh? Let's Let's take a look at the other ones. I'm loving this with those princess seams, that princess jasmine moment. Look at the fun stitching that they have there on the, um, yeah, that crotch area. I, yeah, where is my Aladdin? Because I want to wear this modern day jasmine. <laughs> oh, yeah, Aladdin's downstairs cooking some stinky fish. Ugh. But I'll say this. Rachel Comey always has some like interesting construction um, that make you kind of think twice. But A for amazing. I love it. Vogue 2031. They're giving us some blouses here. Okay. Um, so I feel like I've seen these looks before. However, I will say that view A with that nice puffy sleeve and the lace or the trim insets. I really think that's a beautiful look and I love how they put this together. I would wear this. This is nice. Yeah, I, I even love the sleeve length on this one. I feel like it's not going to get into my spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yeah. And I like that forward shoulder. The gathers in there. This looks like it would be a really comfortable top to wear. And super breezy if you're using that crocheted lace like that, that trim. Really, you all, I think this is a really cute look. All right, let's take a look at the other version. Okay, so this is another version in a more drapey fabric. And this just seems like it's like a plain old shirt, right? With forward shoulders, a collar some pleats at the cuffs it does have a nice shape though oh, this white one i mean they're both okay right what i think is cool about this is that this could be a real wardrobe building pattern oh look at that back yoke and how they attach the trim there ha cute yeah really i think this would be a nice wardrobe building pattern because you can get two very different looks out of this pattern and yeah I, I think it'd be good but I'm gonna give it a B for boring it's not really boring but I I mean I feel like we've seen it before I I would still get it B for boring it's not amazing but it's good right B for boring Vogue 2033 here we go y'all Okay, one dress, two lengths. So creative, Vogue. Okay, I will say they've given us a different, a different skirt here, right? We haven't seen this before. It's got that loose sashy type of belt, but this looks like it turns into a flounce at the front. I can't tell if that's a part of the skirt. I don't think it is. It's probably just the belt, yeah. Um, it's got that small, oh, hello, look at the back. This is giving the girlies a good booty moment. I'm not mad at it. Yes, show off your booties. Make them look a phenomenal. And I like that it has that kind of thin waistband there. I like that it's hitting at the natural waist. Let's check out the bigger line drawings. You all, that belt is the flouncy part of the skirt. I love the bias draping. I really love that belt detail flounce thing. The amazing booty moment. A for amazing, you all. Absolutely. I haven't been that excited about a skirt in a long time. All right, Vogue 2039, they're giving us unisex looks. Oh, okay, you all. 
there's a big problem here. Y'all see what I'm seeing? You see it? I think these pants are better suited for men. Yeah. Shirt-wise, this is cute. Look at that pleated pocket that goes into that seam right up there at the top. Beautiful detail. The covered button placket, the mandarin collar. I even think these sleeves are really fun. That is a super duper fun length for a guy. I'd love to see my husband in this. He's not that stylish though. I mean on her, it's this is okay. I feel like the it just looks a little too oversized for her. Um and I can't get past the pants. I'm not going to lie. Pants on him look great. Pants on her. Oh my gosh. They look better here. But that's probably because her hands are in her pockets. I mean she's stretching it out. Yep. Oof. Honey I'm so sorry they did that to you. Rah. Okay. Let's look at the back here. Oh the back is nice. Look how... There's that pleat in the back. See that they connect that pleat right there and then it opens back up. Fun detail. And I love the pleating on the cuffs at, on the sleeves. Really cute. Um, yeah, I think this just looks a little too oversized for her. I wish they had sized down, honestly. It might have made the look a little different. I do think this top is really good, though. The back welt pockets look good. I mean, overall, I think these pants are, they're good man pants. Looking at the line drawings, the shirt is really a standout. I mean, I love it. And look, they actually give you two options for the shirt pockets. But because they did this girl dirty, I'm going to give this a cancel at checkout. That guy did look really good in that top, though, didn't he? Yeah, that's a good look for him. <sighs> Cancel a checkout. What's next? Vogue 2032. Okay, Vogue has given us more skirts. Two different lengths here. We've got a midi and a long length. Okay, there's a fly front, belt loops. I think this is... I think this is interesting, though, because... I do like that front slit. I feel like it gives this skirt a little something and it can be dressed up or down. Uh, yeah, and it looks like there's pin tucks running straight from the hips down. Yeah, to me, those look like pin tucks. I think this is doing something really beautiful, actually. Um, it's a more casual fabric, but in an elevated type of style with that front slit. I would love this in denim. And I mean, everyone's about denim right now. Denim is in. So I could definitely see that nice well pockets in the back. I think this is a really, really cute look. And I think it could easily take you like from summer to winter, if you make it up in a denim or something like that. I like it a lot. But is it amazing? I mean, it's a skirt with a slit up the front. But I do like it. I think beef were boring. But I like it. Okay, Vogue 2042. This is a vintage pattern that they're bringing back. It's got... A ring in the front, a bow in the back, and a fancy snake. How do you think she got that snake to wrap around her like that? Does she just keep it around, waiting for it to slither up her arm when she wants to feel like an Aphrodite type of goddess? I wish her hair was different. I mean, I like the short dress girl's hair. That's ah, super cute. Okay. Let's talk about this dress. I feel like there's nothing special here. Zipper up the back. Ring in the front. Um, I do like that that front does move into a full on back. 
But honestly, I'm going to give this one a B for boring. I'm not impressed. Vogue 2041. It looks like they're trying to set people up here. Okay, so they're giving us a jumpsuit with a big old elasticated neckline. And it looks like it's hanging off her shoulders, but it's not designed to be like truly off the shoulders. It just looks like a big old wide neckline. Probably because you're going to have to fit your butt down into that top to get this thing on. Can you imagine going to the bathroom? Oh my goodness. So listen, I think overall it's a cute look. I like the big old billowy bishop sleeves. Um, yeah, I think it's a fun pant jumpsuit. But let's be honest, if you got hips and thighs like me, you're popping some elastic stitching and stuff when you're trying to get into this. And let's be honest, if I'm making it big enough for me to get into it, this top is not going to be staying up at all. It's going to be around my waist, which is <laughs> definitely not the look. I'm trying not to go topless out there, you all. <sighs> so, yeah, I think this is cute for the girlies who may not who, for the girlies who have slim hips for me this is disaster zone d i i can already see the mishaps happening vogue 2028 okay so they're giving us dress and an overdress they call it okay um i'm not sure what i'm looking at here I think this dress is cute. It's got a casual looking top with that racer back and that deep. Um, okay, they've used some really nice lace here. I'll say that. Um, and typically I would like the mix between fancy and sporty. I just don't know if it's working here. And then here it is with that sheer overlay. And I, I'm not feeling it. I don't understand it. I feel like they took her beautiful shape and just made it look like she's wearing... I mean, like, look, this dress is nice. It has a zipper up the back, that racer back... It's like hugging her form and then you throw that overlay on and everything disappears. I, I'm so confused. And then oh, look at all the buttons in the back of this. It's like it's supposed to be a more casual look, I think. But then you're giving me some like wedding dress buttons happening in the back. And it's got that tulip bottom. Hmm. And here's the line drawings, and it looks like they used some trim over the lace. I, um, you all, uh, I, I think this is so ugly. I'm so sorry. I, I can't. I wanted to like it, but I don't. It, this is <coughs> ugly. Anyone else's stomach hurt after that last look? <laughs> okay, Vogue 2029. This is interesting. This is giving me, like, Carolina Herrera type of vibes. I mean, this is really cute. I love how they combined that striped fabric with the floral. I feel like the lace might be pushing it a bit for me, but if this was just like a sheer meshy type of top, so cute. Yeah, okay, so we've got long sleeves here they've used that lace it does have a top underneath i don't know if they're connected anywhere um there is a full skirt with pockets and a super wide fabric belt i think that's a belt because i think i can see where the skirt attaches to the bodice zip up the back though and look at that beautiful lace matching that they did Wow, they killed it with that <laughs> with that matching right there. That looks good. I think this is a really cool look, honestly. And I think that you could use a lot of different fabrics to get different 
vibes from it. I'm I'm not mad at this. I do I think it's amazing. Man, I wish I could hear your opinions. I'm going to say that you can put this together using separates. So I'm going to give it a B for boring. But it is good, right? Yeah. Maybe it deserves an A. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm going to give this one a B for boring. Okay, Vogue 2027. It's in two lengths. This pink satin that they use, though, is something else. This is gorgeous. I feel like this is a beautiful, casual look mixed with an elevated look. Look at that dolman top with the darts under the bust. It's got that center seam so you can play around with directional fabrics. I think that top is so pretty. I like the shaping at the waist and how it moves into the nice curve of the hips. I think this is really adorable. And I like how it kind of flounces out above the knee there. Really beautiful. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to pretend that I don't see this fabric, you all. I, I know you're looking at what I'm looking at. So this is a longer version. We've got princess seams on that skirt going up to the bust. But then there are, looks like there's two darts there. Um, yeah, it is a higher neckline. And I have to be honest, I think this fabric that they chose here is 100% wrong. I mean, look at the way it billows out at the bottom. This, come on, where's that back? I hate it when it does that. Okay, so this back is gorgeous. Look at that deep V back. Oh, what a moment. So, I mean, it's like the casual, the elevated casual, but it's not really casual. I love this look. Not that one, but A for amazing, you all. Let's look at the line drawings. But you all know I'm already giving this an A. Yes, I love this. I love it in the shorter length. I think the long length is nice, too. You just got to pick a, pick a nice fabric, please. Vogue 2023. Okay, so this is by Tom and Linda Platt. Um... I think this is really something. Finally, they've given me something to love. I mean, it's a simple dress, but I do like how the arm side aren't really low on this. That standing collar, though, look at it with the piping that they added in there. That is a really fun detail. I like that released pleat at the neckline there. And... Honestly, I feel like that little detail makes it a little easier to do an FBA on dresses like this. A zipper up the back. A little hook and eye at the top of that collar. This is a beautiful dress. And did they not give us pockets? I'm going to be mad at them. No pockets. But you know what? I haven't seen a collar like that. I think this is an easy to wear dress. A for amazing. You know, I have to admit, Vogue patterns are some of my favorites. So let's go ahead and take a look at where all of these fell in our tier ranking system. For amazing, we have 20, 40, 36, 25, 34, 35, 23, and 2027. 20, for B, we have 20, 31, 32, and 42. C, 20, 30, 20, 39. D, we have 20, 24, 37, and 41. And for extremely ugly, 26 and 20, 28. 
give me a thumbs up if you had fun here today and subscribe if you want to see the next video that we're doing in this series which is going to be the Butterick summer patterns that they just recently released okay so I'll see you then in the meantime check out this video right here that gives you a bunch of free sewing patterns for my favorite charity project in September they're just so cute